How powerful could this family be? When Richie was first born, several countries' presidents called to congratulate, since they had to borrow money from his family. Crib made of gold, bed bells made of golden coins, diamonds, and US dollars. For peace set pacifier made of pure gold. Richie's father was the world's richest person. This kid grew up slowly in the center of doting love. He liked to play baseball after growing up. To play with him, his father abandoned small business that was nice. worth few hundred million bucks. His father even built a baseball field at home for his son. All the training partners were star players from national team. When having meals, the dining table was too big so communication well, could only be done okay, through using phone. What woke him up every morning was Beauty's yoga class. Different celebrities were hired regularly to be his yoga coaches. To make him a kid that was good in all respects, his father built a science lab at home for him. Moreover, his father invited the best scientists to invent mysterious things for him. Mechanical bees made of pure gold. One was worth more than one million bucks. Extremely powerful glue. Once something was stuck, getting it off would be impossible. Mysterious spray. Once it was on clothes, the clothes would be bulletproof. Machine gun could not even penetrate. And laser cannon, it was Richie's mom's favorite. On the mountain behind his house, a full set of the President Hill was directly copied with this laser cannon. Richie and his classmates were all from wealthy families. They had been accepting elite education since they were little. They talked about funds and stocks at an early age. Ten-year-old kids were mature than adults. Richie was not exceptional. He helped his father do business and attend events. Today, Richie goes to slum by plane to attend events on behalf of his father. A box of gold bars is generously given to people there. Therefore, people are happy and excited. However, Richie is attracted by a bunch of kids playing baseball aside. He runs over and wants to play with them. A little girl in the lead looks at Richie with disdainful face. You look delicate. Can you really play? She adds, I bet you 10 bucks. You will not hit the ball. Richie pulls out a bunch of cash from his pocket. What? 10,000 bucks. All right. The girl is confused. No, no, no. I said 10 bucks. Even just 10 bucks. She and her friends have to gather money together. The first bat. The ball flies to his forehead. He flops down on the ground. Kids all laugh at him because it seems like he cannot play at all. The second bat. This time Richie is serious. Swings his arm lightly and he hits a beautiful home run. Kids are all shocked. Initially, they thought if they win, they can have a McDonald meal for free. Now, all their pocket money is gone. Richie wants to invite all the kids to play at his home. But the girl is unhappy since her pocket money is gone. You think you are great simply because you have money. Who likes to play at your home? Her temper is quite bad. Richie leaves without taking the money. The next day, his whole family goes to Britain to celebrate the Queen's birthday. But Richie isn't happy on the plane. His mom notices this and thinks, My son's happiness is more important than anything else. If my son wants those kids to play with him, Jesus. then, just invite all Richie. the kids to home. Anyway, home is more interesting than playground. His parents leave with gifts by plane. Richie is bored at home alone. Steward gives him a gift. When Richie opens the door, a bunch of kids are standing at the entrance. As the kid of the world's richest person, how happy could it be? Lives in a palace-like mansion. There is a McDonald running inside his home. There is also a basketball court inside his home. Go-karts are available outside. The artificial lake is big enough to do yachting. Snacks are countless. All of these do not really matter. A roller coaster is built inside his home. This really impresses his slum friends. All his slum friends become his followers because of his wealth. Joy is not vanished after sending off his friends. But, bad news comes at this moment. The plane his parents were on exploded and crashed. It turns out that his uncle has been spying on his family's property. So, he put bomb on the plane in secret. Luckily, Richie's father found the bomb timely and flew it out few seconds before it exploded. But, tail of the plane was still exploded. Richie's parents float on the ocean in a lifeboat. They are calm because of their experience and wealth. Richie's mom is even taking a sunbathe. Richie was not on the plane. So he was not affected by the bomb. He and Stuart rush to his father's company. Once they show up in front of his uncle, his uncle is deeply confused. What the hell? How could my perfect plan be ruined by this brat? Richie goes straight to CEO's seat and sits there. His uncle nearly dies of anger, but still has to put a smile on his face. Since Richie is the first heir, Richie is on roller skates at work. The company is full of his snacks and toys. He drinks milk tea when a meeting is going on. 
10-year-old kid runs a big company, is not this a joke? However, Richie has been accepting elite education since he was little. Well, Teachers well, taught him futures, stocks, and financial management. Under his management, the business is increasingly good. As long as he makes decisions, no one will say no. Shareholders meeting is turned into party by Richie. His uncle is turned into nobody by Richie in shareholders meeting. Therefore, he is extremely pissed off. He spent so much time and effort planning, but did not receive any benefit finally. So, he comes up with another plan. He frames the steward as the criminal who caused the plane crash. And the steward is taken away by the police. Richie has no guardian. And, without guardian, Richie can no longer run the company. Takes advantage of this chance. His uncle becomes his guardian. From now on, his uncle is the one who is truly in charge. To be on the safe side, his uncle sets monitoring everywhere at his home to watch him 24 7 His uncle also sends people to prison to handle the steward. Rule of prison is playing poker first. Whoever loses will be beaten. The steward is a hidden master in terms of playing poker. So, losing is impossible. People sent by Richie's uncle nearly die of anger. Richie's uncle comes up with new plan again. How about we kill the steward? We kill him. Then, we will be absolutely safe. An overweight professor in the basement hears this, so he rushes to notify Richie to save the steward from prison. This toothpaste is so powerful, it can corrode anything. The steward just squeezes some out. The head of toothbrush is fully corroded. It is all gone. The steward sighs, this toothpaste is really corrosive. If I put it in my mouth, my teeth will all be gone. He checks the instruction. Turns out it is a prison breaking tool sent by Richie. It can corrode everything. Surely including bars in the prison. However, before he actions, killer sent by Richie's uncle chokes him with a towel. The steward is not delicate. He readily puts toilet lid around the killer's head. Then, he uses the toothpaste to corrode bars, puts the kill's clothes on, and escapes from the prison. However, the overweight professor is not that lucky. He is found by Richie's uncle and tied to a chair tight. He is tough does not compromise in front of Richie's uncle. He does not say where Richie is. On the other hand, Richie believes his parents are still alive. He tries to get in touch with his parents through satellite. His parents are indeed not dead. They have been saved by a plane after floating on the ocean for days. To save the overweight professor, Richie comes up with a plan with his friends. The overweight professor invented many things including a blue bubbling liquid. Dump it in water pipe and water fountain starts spitting bubbles. Bubbles successfully attract the attention of guards. Takes advantage of this chance. Richie sneaks into his home and finds the telephone line specially connecting him and his parents. The position of his parents is at home. Yeah. It turns well, out that the plane was sent by his uncle. His parents have already been captured by his uncle. Richie's uncle hears that Richie's parents have treasure at home. Treasure of the world's richest person. How pricey would it be? Richie's uncle really carefully searched every corner of, of his home, but found nothing. So, he forces Richie's parents to lead him to the treasure. They come to the entrance of the treasure. Key to open the door is the song of couple. They sing deeply. Richie's uncle really wants to beat them. It is really a fucking good time to show off your love. Layers of doors are open. Once Richie's uncle is in, he wants to beat them more. Since there is no treasure here, only toys Richie played when he was little. To Richie's parents, fine memory is the most precious treasure. These are all the fucking shit I got after spending so much time and effort. Richie's uncle is extremely pissed off and orders his men to kill Richie's parents. At this moment, Richie shows up with a big machete. His indifference and greedy uncle shoots him once. But luckily, the bulletproof spray saves his life. Sees his son getting shot. Richie's father is pissed off. He uses electronic Ken to shoot Richie's uncle. Takes advantage of this chance. The whole family runs away. Richie's uncle's men shoot the whole family with laser cannon. Richie's uncle's little pistol is busy too. At this moment, the steward shows up, picks up a big rock and knocks Richie's uncle's men out with it. He also picks up the laser cannon and shoots Richie's uncle with it. But Richie's uncle is truly lucky. He is still alive. Richie's mom goes straight up and punches him really hard. Finally, it is all done. And the family reunites. Later, Richie organizes a baseball game at home. Friends from Slum all come to join. Richie finally finds his own friends. However, his uncle can only live the rest of his life as a cleaner. The end. This film is called Richie Rich. Today's question is, how would you spend money if you are really rich? Put your answer in the comment section.